but there are a handful of habits that will automatically put you ahead of 99% of writers. And in this video, I'm gonna break down one I'm currently finding particularly valuable. Plus, how you can use ChatGPT to make the process very easy. Let's get into it. The habit that will automatically put you ahead of 99% of writers is to analyze your stats. This may sound simple, but so many writers, including myself for the first four years of writing online, will just post, have some hit, some miss, and never really develop a formula for what actually works. This includes everything from what topics to write about, what headlines to use, and how to format your introductions. All of this is really important because it allows you to gain control over your content, as opposed to posting into the ether and hoping something lands. So if posting into the ether is your current strategy or would just like some more control over how your content performs, here's how ChatGPT can make the process really easy. So the first thing you're gonna do is collect the stats you would like ChatGPT to analyze. If the platform you write in does not have a stats page you can easily export or you just don't know how, you can simply take a screenshot of your article stats and then upload it to ChatGPT. I have a screenshot here from Substack, so I'll upload it along with a prompt for ChatGPT. This is the prompting system I use, so if you'd like to download it, I'll be sending it out to readers via my newsletter in a few weeks. Depending on when you're watching this, it may already be out. I'll add the link to the pinned comment and you can add yourself to the list. And basically what I'm asking ChatGPT in this prompt is to convert these stats into a table so they're easier to analyze. And so I have something to reference when asking ChatGPT to analyze these stats in the future. Once you have a chart like this, you can get to work. And basically, the crux of this whole habit is to pull data from your most successful posts and then start a running list of what is contributing to their success. Is it a certain style of headline, a topic, a category, a keyword? The more you can work with ChatGPT to brainstorm the answers to some of these questions, the more data you'll be able to pull for what's actually contributing to their success and what will continue working in the future. Personally, I like to make a Google Sheets page and upload this data each month so I have a running chart of what's working and what's not. Obviously, ChatGPT can't do this work for you, but if you can find a running list of five to 10 attributes that are contributing to your content's performance, you can start to A-B test and slowly hone in on a formula of success. I know it might sound simple, but if you start doing this once a month, you'll see a drastic increase in your content's performance because you will no longer be guessing what is contributing to your story's successes and instead be building an incremental path to that success. For more ways to use ChatGPT as a writer, you can watch this video and to have walkthroughs sent directly to you, join my writing community. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.